Alright, so I got me a packet today from, you guys can guess, Far From Sod. Yeah. It says Jera 80. No, Jera aka Florida Kustar 80. Hi, Allie. Thanks, Daryl. And let's see what we got in this thing. I'll put you guys real quick in the track. Alright. Cool stuff. And I got me this pretty cool fire stock. Badass banner. I can open it up because I'm in the truck. So no check and hang up in my closet. I mean, not my closet, but you guys get it. Guess what else I got me? I got me a couple of shirts from Lucas Oil products. Yep. Pretty badass shit. Make it official. Actually, I gotta get some Lucas uh, motor oil for my truck coming up this month because we're gonna do a little bit of engine work on it. Just so you guys know. I have one of these shirts already, but it started to kind of fade out and I gotta keep on rocking it. Tailgate part from 2015. If you guys didn't know that, check out Mopar One Daryl. If you guys, if you guys go creep back a little bit, you guys will see a couple videos from that day. I got oh, you know what's funny? I've been waiting for this shirt. Well, I asked a long time ago for a tank top, and I got me a tank top now. So you know, when I go flex at the gym. We can show we just, we're not stock. We're far from stock. Pretty dope. I like this. Some bodybuilding tank tops. Awesome. I usually like have like this spazzing out like <coughs> emotions running through me, but when I got the box, I was already doing all that stuff. So right now I kind of I calmed down, took a little chill pill. Now, now I'm okay. Um, and remember, guys, you guys can get these shirts from um, FarbrandStockStore.com. If you guys want to go check them out, I'll put a link under the description below so you guys can see that. Uh, but look at this one. Oh, yeah. Diesel. Because that's what fuels this thing right here. Far from stock. Also, today's 5.9. You guys may see this video like within like two or three days later. I'm going to try to post this for tomorrow, but today's 5.9. So it's a, you know, little 5.9 Cummins day. Pretty cool shit. Look at this. Far from stock decal. Yes. I need to replace the one I have in my truck because the one in my truck's kind of, looks kind of weird already. Yeah. Oh yeah, this right here. It's gonna go there. Makitatools.com. This is gonna go on my phone. You guys already know that. I'm gonna call P. Daryl. Not Daryl, but Brandon. He has a little sticker behind his phone. I got another one. Another one. Look at this. Do you know who wheel this is? It's a pretty badass wheel. I wish I had 14 wides. We will soon. Last but not least, I got a pretty badass little thing that we're going to do for the front end of the truck. And it's going to be sweet. Look at this bad boy right here. Look at this bad boy right here. Inserts. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. I've been waiting for that for like so long. Look at that. I don't, I don't know, I can't explain it. But this is gonna be just amazing. Amazing. Just amazing, look at it. Amazing. 
we should be getting some of these too pretty soon I don't know how soon but I gotta do some other stuff before I get to this a little hood stack for your drink we out with your buddies and it look as oil Look at that. Oh yeah. You know, I'm just gonna put this right in front of my windshield. I'm gonna put it right in front of there, just just slap it on there. I don't care if I can't see it, just I'm gonna let everyone know that I I'm running Lucas Oil products in my truck. Just the hardware for the Oh, yeah, just the hardware. Check them out if you need any stuff. Well, that's that, guys, for this video. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little more around what I've been doing with the truck. Um, not that long ago, I was over at, uh, I think it was on Sunday, I went over to Cars and Coffee. I don't know if you, if you guys saw my truck out there. If you guys did, cool. Um, I got to see a couple people. I got to meet um, Mint Conditions and Adam's Polish. Uh, pretty cool stuff. It was my first time being at one of those cars and coffee meet. Um, pretty fun. But not bad. Um, but, um, that night, before that day, I was doing a lot of prep up to this truck. I was trying to work on my electrical. I didn't get to that, but I'm gonna get to it probably this weekend. So... But I did do the carpet on the back. I didn't get to make a video on that because, like I said, I was in a rush. I needed to hurry up and do, um, I call it, I wanted to hurry up and just finish the truck so I could be ready for tomorrow because it took me about like almost three hours just for prepping this truck. I had to go on from a full detail, um, I call it, I went ahead and do a full detail on washing the truck, cleaning the wheels, uh, clay the truck. I mean, I was doing so much stuff because the truck needed to look clean and I, oh, I actually did a strip wash on it so that was really what I kind of did to it um, strip wash the whole truck and um, you know did the basics to it so I didn't even go out that night either alright so I went ahead and moved my box out of the way so here's what I did in the back. Uh, I put um, carpet in the back because it just looked awful just having to soundproof in the back. So I went ahead and um, what I did, I bought me a cardboard that Home Depot had, an on night cardboard. I screw it to the back from the holes that I previous had from my old video. If you guys ever saw when I was doing the carpet, um, had holes in there. So I put screws in there and then I got me some thin uh, carpet layer. Uh, from Home Depot as well, and then I got this from um, PetBoys.com. It's really thin carpet, black carpet, and just did the adhesive, and I laid it in the back and did all the custom right measurements, and so that came out pretty clean. Everything came out clean, and then here's this pretty badass thing right here. I got me my center console done. I didn't get to post a video on that, but this thing looks freaking ridiculous. I mean, this truck is turned out to be freaking awesome. It's just amazing. And I found a solution. The same thing that I did right here, same kind of carpet, I'm going to do on top of here. I'm just going to put the soundproof more right here, just straight across the whole thing, and up here as well. Oh, look, I did the, the sun visors as well. So, and yeah, so I'm going to put carpet all over that. I'm going to try to do that probably like next week or so, something like that. I'm just trying to take a little break. I mean, I've been too busy out here. Um, but this is so far what the truck looks inside. Um, it looks spectacular. I might make a video probably tomorrow or in two days. Just me showing the truck. So it's going to probably be like a, a one minute or probably two minute video of me just showing, you know, a little walk through the truck with music in the background. And that's it. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will be posting more videos. I know I've kind of been slow on it. It's just that, you know, it's work. Me working on this truck and other stuff. And I'm trying to just catch up with everything and 
just show you guys what's going on. And here's the bag that I got from, um, I call it Mint Conditions. <coughs> this is like a new, um, I call it <coughs> thing to wash in your, your car. It barely just came out, so it's pretty cool. And then also got the new big towel. If you guys saw that on their page on the Ultra Plush drying towel. We're going to make a video on using that. See how that works. And I got me some more interior. Um, a one gallon interior spray. So, yep. Peace out.